Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and ensure you never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links are waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with high stakes. Buffalo Sabres vs. Columbus Blue Jackets Though neither team has had an ideal start to the season, both the Buffalo Sabres and Columbus Blue Jackets are playing competitive hockey, setting the stage for what could be one of the most intriguing matchups of the day in the NHL. Historically, these teams have been evenly matched, with a 5-5 record in their last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. However, the Sabres gained the upper hand last season, winning two of their three contests and outscoring the Blue Jackets 5-3 in that span, reinforcing the tight rivalry. Buffalo has also won the last three matchups in Columbus, and with the team's chemistry improving, particularly in goal with the tandem of Ukko Pekalukkanen and Devin Levi, they're poised for a much-needed win. Despite the Sabres showing flashes of potential in net, neither team has been dominant defensively, which is reflected in the scoring trends. The over has hidden seven of their last 10 meetings, with an average of 8.5 total goals scored per game during that stretch. So far in the 2024-25 season, the Sabres have hit the over in two of their five games, allowing nearly four goals per game. The Blue Jackets, meanwhile, have seen the over hit in six of their last 10 games, surrendering fewer than three goals just once in that span. For betters, the play is simple. Take the over 6.5 points. This matchup promises plenty of action on the scoreboard. Los Angeles Kings vs. Montreal Canadiens The Los Angeles Kings have consistently dominated their matchups against the Montreal Canadiens, boasting an impressive 8-2-0 record in their last 10 encounters. Over this span, LA has averaged 3.30 goals per game, while the Canadians have struggled, managing just 1.40 goals per game. Even on the second leg of a road back-to-back, -back, the Kings are poised to continue their winning trend against Montreal. For betting, take the Kings on the money line. Montreal has found it tough to score against LA, averaging just 1.40 goals per game over their last 10 meetings. Meanwhile, the Kings have been far more productive, averaging 3.30 goals per game in the same stretch. Additionally, the under has hit in eight of the last 10 matchups, 8-1-1, pointing toward another low-scoring affair. Prediction. Bet the under on six total goals. Expect a tight game, with LA coming out on top. Vancouver Canucks vs. Florida Panthers. There's a clear reason why the Florida Panthers are off to a solid 3-2-0 start while the Vancouver Canucks are still searching for their first win of the regular season. Florida has the upper hand, particularly against a vulnerable goaltender like Kevin Lankinen, who has allowed an average of 3.06 goals per game over his 113 career starts. Compare that to Florida's Sergei Bobrovsky, a veteran with two Vezina trophies under his belt, and the difference in net is significant. Offensively, Sam Reinhardt has been a dominant force for the Panthers, and with Vancouver scoring just three goals in their last two games, the Canucks will need to find a way to contain him. Betting tip. Take the Florida Panthers to win. Florida is simply the better, more well-rounded team in this matchup. Both teams have had early struggles limiting shots on goal, with the Canucks allowing 28.0 shots per game, 13th in the league, and the Panthers giving up 30.2 shots per game. 22nd in the NHL. However, with Bobrovsky in net for Florida, the shot count isn't as concerning. On the power play, neither team has been particularly strong to start the season. Vancouver ranks 13th with a 25% power play success rate, while Florida lags behind at 23rd with just 11.1%. Prediction. Take the under at 6.5 goals. Given the goaltending edge for Florida, and both teams' struggles on the power play. This game is shaping up to be a lower-scoring affair. Expect solid defense and goaltending to keep the final score under 6.5 goals. Dallas Stars vs. Washington Capitals Dallas is off to an impressive 4-0 start, and this matchup presents a great opportunity to back the Stars, even on the road. Known for their explosive offense, Dallas has also stepped up defensively, with standout performances from goaltender Jake Odinger anchoring their success. On the other side, Washington has struggled to generate offense, and facing Odinger in net won't make things any easier. Expect the Stars to take control early, 
leveraging their defensive strength to secure another road win. Betting tip. Take Dallas on the money line. With Washington's offensive struggles and Dallas playing elite defense, the Stars are poised to continue their strong form. Washington has had difficulty finding the back of the net, and with Dallas playing suffocating defense, the under is also a solid play in this contest. Dallas' own offense hasn't been firing on all cylinders either, suggesting this could be a low-scoring affair. Prediction. Take the under at six goals. Given both teams' challenges offensively and Dallas' ability to lock down opponents, this game is shaping up to be a defensive battle. Expect a final score of 3-1 or 3-2 in favor of Dallas, keeping the total comfortably under six goals. Vegas Golden Knights vs. Tampa Bay Lightning This early season clash between two powerhouse teams is shaping up to be a must-watch. Both Tampa Bay and Vegas have found plenty of success in recent years, but from a sports betting perspective, I'm backing the Lightning in this one. Here's why. Andre Vasilevsky The Russian goaltender has been absolutely dominant, boasting a remarkable 1.00 GAA and a .958 save percentage through his first two games. He's locked in, and I wouldn't bet against him right now. On the other hand, Aiden Hill for Vegas looked vulnerable in his last outing giving up four goals on just 22 shots against Washington, with a shaky .818 save percentage. Defensively, Vegas hasn't been as sharp, allowing an average of 3.00 goals per game, ranking 14th in the league. Tampa Bay's offense, led by the red-hot Nikita Kusherov, who already has four goals to his name, is averaging 4.0 goals per game, fourth in the league. With Vegas looking less solid on the defensive end, I expect the Lightning to take full advantage and find the back of the net frequently. Betting Prediction Tampa Bay Lightning Moneyline With Vasilevsky in top form and Tampa's potent offense, this game leans in favor of the Lightning. Total Goals Prediction Over 6.0 At 6.0 goals, the over is a great play here. Even with elite goaltenders on both sides, both teams have been lighting it up offensively to start the season. Tampa is averaging 4.0 goals per game, while Vegas is slightly ahead at 4.3. The Golden Knights have also been dangerous on the power play, converting 30.8% of their opportunities, 4 for 13. With this much offensive firepower on the ice, expect plenty of scoring, I'll take the over. New Jersey Devils vs. Ottawa Senators The key concern heading into this matchup is the Senators' struggling penalty kill which could spell trouble against a New Jersey team that's solid on the power play and statistically stronger in the face-off circle. The Devils' goaltenders have been reliable so far, and they should be able to hold the Senators' offense to under their usual four-goal average. Adding to New Jersey's edge is the fact that they've won five of their last six games against Ottawa. With Olmark dealing with a muscle strain, and based on the shaky performance of the Senators' backup goalies against the Kings, I'm leaning heavily towards New Jersey in this one. Prediction New Jersey Devils Moneyline Given the Devils' recent success against Ottawa and their overall defensive strength, New Jersey looks poised to secure the win. While these teams have a combined 6-1 record on the under this season, I'm more inclined to lean towards the over for this game. Both teams will be well-rested, and New Jersey's defensive injuries coupled with Olmark's uncertain status make for a game that could feature plenty of scoring. Ottawa's penalty kill has been subpar, and the Devils have enough offensive firepower to exploit that. In six of their last seven meetings, these teams have combined for at least seven goals, making the over a strong play. Prediction Over 6.5 goals With both teams vulnerable on defense and strong on offense, expect a high-scoring affair. Rangers vs. Detroit Red Wings It's clear the Rangers are the stronger team, as they proved in their matchup on Tuesday. New York's offense has been relentless, averaging 34.0 shots on goal per game compared to the Red Wings' 28.7. This offensive pressure is a key advantage for the Rangers, but the real separator comes in the face-off circle. The Rangers rank third in the NHL with a 56% face-off win rate, while Detroit struggles at second-worst with just 44.6%. Winning face-offs translates to puck control, and in this case, New York holds a clear edge. Bet on the New York Rangers to win. They're simply the better team right now. As for the total, 
both teams will be more prepared after seeing each other's game plans less than 48 hours ago. With veteran goaltenders Jonathan Quick and Cam Talbot in net, expect fewer goals. Despite the high-pressure situations on Tuesday, which included 18 combined penalty minutes, the teams managed just five total goals. A cleaner game this time around should result in fewer scoring opportunities. Prediction. Take the under 6.5 goals. Both teams will tighten up defensively, and this game will likely stay low scoring.